morning. What we're going to do this morning is a very quick overview of the proposed ventilation changes. There are some significant issues um, relating to particularly window fabrication uh, and the new document F. Um, what we'll like to try and explain is why we're actually going through these changes um, and some of the implications of what it will be to you as fabricators. Obviously, why we're needing to ventilate and from what Gary said earlier, all you guys who make wonderfully thermally efficient windows. We're now making wonderfully thermally efficient housing. But the problem is when we make thermally efficient housing, we're not putting the correct amount of ventilation into these properties. And obviously that has issues with everyone with health. Old houses, obviously we used to have chimneys, leaky roofs, leaky walls, leaky windows as well. That now is all being tightened up. This is just a quick change why we've had to make some significant changes to the 2006 regulations. The study carried out by ACOM, which are the people that write the building regulations for the government, um, found out that 72% of the trickle vent areas based on the 2006 regulations were actually underventilated. A lot of this is to do with mechanical systems and people not understanding and, more importantly, very poor specification. I think Gary's already mentioned this, what we are actually looking for in the guidance is the definition is to removal of stale air from the indoor uh, elements of the building and the replacement of fresh air from outside. It is Im important that you understand the systems that are also being employed with your windows, not just the window elements. One of the main things at the bottom paragraph there is an introduction of two uh, air permeability levels. The two air permeability levels, as we'll see later, have very, very significant differences on the amount of background ventilation that you guys will need to provide. We'll do the easy part first, work on existing buildings. From background ventilation point, has changed very, very little um, in the 2010 regulations. Um, obviously, like for like replacements, if there are ventilators fitted there now, if you're replacing a window, you must fit the ventilators into the new windows. Um, I've taken out section 7.5 there. Section 7.5 refers to change of use in, pro in properties. If you're changing a property, as Gary's made reference to, you need to be bringing the, the change of use property up to the new Part F and Part L regulations. Um, one significant issue as well is um, what they're now no longer recommending is the use of night latch facility as a background ventilator. Two documents, and the reason when we, Gary and I started to discuss this, um, Part F is the building regulation. The other document, which is the domestic compliance guide, has absolutely no relevance to you guys. But the reason why it's been brought in is because that is to do with the implementation of the systems, the mechanical systems that are being employed. And when I refer to mechanical systems, that refers to uh, fa extract fans in bathrooms, continuous mechanical extract systems and mechanical extract systems with heat recovery. You guys will probably never actually see that document, but because of the failures previously, uh, CLG have now insisted that a domestic compliance guide is set up for mechanical ventilation installations. As part of that, your work, your installations are going to be checked by a third party. The guys fitting the mechanical systems cannot sign over their element, i.e. the balancing of the mechanical ventilation systems, the extract fans in the bathrooms, without checking your work. If your work is incorrect, you'll be coming back to do remedial works to those properties. It is very important that you check your background ventilation systems. Part F still has the same four major systems in place, although they do now allow an additional system, but that has to be proven through building control and planning before. We have system one, which is the one that's probably used the most at the moment, which is background ventilation with intermittent extract fans. System two, uh, a passive stack system where we use flues to move the air through the property 
again with background ventilation.